who are you telling people that you are? A woman in her feminine energy drip feeds stories about herself, about her life, about her world, about her family, about her friends, about her upbringing. These stories that she drip feeds subconsciously illustrate and pave the way for how she is treated. She makes even the darkest stories sound like she is the luckiest woman alive. Our standards are subconsciously enforced through the stories we choose to share about ourselves. It's not through a pre-prepared list that you mechanically decide to recite to men and to others. A woman who embodies her feminine energy understands the power of storytelling, how it shapes perceptions and influences how she is treated. It influences what type of opportunities are presented to her. So if you are sick of living your life on repeat, you keep attracting the same low vibrational type of man. You keep attracting bad opportunities or no opportunities. You keep getting this terrible treatment. If you genuinely want to break this cycle, then stick around because it's all coming up right now. Hi, welcome back to The Vibration Vault. My name is Alia Zare. I help women all over the world navigate their love life in a more feminine way. So if that sounds like something that you want to do, make sure to subscribe to stick around. Okay, let's begin. When you share stories with grace and intention, you paint this vivid picture that invites respect and admiration. And it's through these narratives that others subconsciously learn how to engage with you. Ultimately, that shapes your interactions. It shapes every single one of your relationships and the treatment you receive within that relationship. The stories that we tell about ourselves can completely elevate us to new heights unimaginable to us, or they can completely destroy you and diminish you in the eyes of others. Let me give you an example. Imagine a woman who in her previous story was constantly the victim of her circumstances. Well, she is always going to attract a relationship that echoes that same narrative because that is the story she has chosen to relate to. That is just the norm to her. And each time she retells that story, all she's doing is reinforcing that story. She's reinforcing that pattern. And what happens is it leads to similar outcomes over and over and over again. However, when she realizes that by altering her storytelling, she can change not only how other people perceive her, but also the quality of the opportunities that are presented to her. It alters the treatment that she is also now experiencing simply because she decided to change her story. Now, imagine that same woman. Imagine she started focusing on emphasizing parts of her life and her story that exhibit strength luck, success, wealth. She starts to share stories about where she not just experienced hard times, but how she overcame those hard times. How she learned valuable lessons from very difficult situations and how she grew stronger as a result of it. Going even further to explain how grateful she is for any setback that she has ever experienced because that setback catapulted her to new heights that were completely unimaginable for her. By enhancing certain truths and focusing on empowering narratives, she reshapes the way that others see her. Instead of being seen as the victim of her circumstances, she becomes known for her resilience and her ability to thrive no matter what the circumstances are. Now, that woman is strong. That woman is powerful. That woman is a goddess. She won't stand for anything below the standard that she's already set 
for herself. So now men approach her with the utmost respect, with the intention to respect her, love her. They show up with gifts, they show up with love, they show up with loyalty, always. Okay, so how do you do that? The key here is authenticity blended with strategic storytelling. It's not really about fabricating a whole new persona, but rather highlighting aspects about yourself that deserve recognition, that deserve respect. The shift in storytelling doesn't erase the past, it just reframes it in a more positive, uplifting light. Let me give you an example. Let's say that your reality is that you didn't grow up with a lot of money. Your parents had a love marriage and their families never saw eye to eye. So you always felt like there was something you were missing. You missed out on having that social family life with knowing your grandparents and everyone speaking nicely about the grandparents and you know on top of that with not having a lot of money you always felt like you didn't really have a lot however your parents did do everything they could within reason for you but it just never really seemed like enough to you so instead of sharing this story in a way which screams I am the victim of my own little sad life that I have absolutely no control over whatsoever. You would reframe it like this. Growing up, I was so lucky. My parents always got me everything I wanted within reason. I got to experience what true love looks like from a very young age, you know? My parents had a love marriage. Their families didn't even want them to be together, but you know, my dad fought for my mum. My mum fought for my dad. How lucky is it that I got to experience what a true man does for the woman that he loves? He fights and goes after the woman that he loves. So I guess now I would just never accept a love that was lukewarm. I would never accept mediocre. Not when my dad has shown me what a real man should be doing for a woman. I'm so grateful I had that example of love in the home. You know, not everyone is as lucky as I am to have experienced that. Now, the woman who was once trapped in this negative cycle of these experiences from her old story, now all of a sudden finds herself attracting these beautiful experiences this beautiful treatment, this overwhelming amount of respect from everyone and relationships that overall align with this new elevated narrative. It's so important to recognize that the only person who has knowledge of this old story is you. Others only really know what you choose to share with them. By consciously changing the stories that you choose to share about yourself, you change the input that other people receive, therefore influencing the output, meaning how they perceive you and how they end up treating you. This transformation isn't just about seeking validation or seeking approval. It's about creating a narrative that really aligns with your true essence. It's about creating that narrative that aligns with your new morals, the new version of yourself, the new story, something that you actually relate to. So to experience new and beautiful opportunities and experiences and new beautiful relationships and treatment from others, examine the stories that you are currently telling about yourself. Are they empowering? Do they reflect the person that you aspire to be? If they're not, consider how you can enhance the narrative. Share stories that highlight your strengths, highlight the fact that you are really lucky, highlight all of these beautiful, positive, amazing qualities about yourself, highlight the beautiful friendships you have, highlight the beautiful parts of your previous relationships that you've had, instead of just focusing on the negative treatment. Because I know that every single one of you watching has had beautiful experiences or can put a beautiful spin on a negative experience they have had. Start telling it from the positive perspective. Craft your storytelling in a way that inspires 
others. Craft your storytelling in a way that demands respect. It needs to inspire others to see you in a completely new light. It's a story that invites positive interactions with you, positive associations with you. When you actually start to shift and you sit down and you rewrite the new story, you start actually telling that new story and you see the shift, not only from men, but this will also come from women. It will come from everyone around you. This could be the woman on the shop floor who helps you find your correct size. This could be the woman at the makeup counter who slips and a few extra free samples for you. It's the coffee that you get randomly on the house for no reason at all. But really, there is a reason. It's because you're telling a new story. You're telling your new story. And it's told in a more positive and enhanced light. It's not only going to shift the treatment that you receive from the people you tell this story to, no. It's also going to shift the treatment from the people you haven't told this story to because now energetically your vibration has shifted. You are now radiating on a self-secure frequency. People feel that energy from you. So the person down at the coffee shop doesn't need to know your new story. They can feel it from you energetically. They can feel that vibration from you. It's the self-secure frequency that good things are always happening to me. It's the self-secure frequency of men love spoiling me. Men always have expensive taste for me. When it comes to gift giving, everyone always has expensive taste for me. In essence, storytelling is probably one of the most powerful tools that you can use for personal transformation, like immediate transformation in your physical reality and the treatment you receive from men and women and everyone else around you. By consciously shaping your narrative, you can alter the treatment you receive and how other people are perceiving you, their assumptions that they are making of you. So that is a wrap for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please make sure to hit the thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So until next time, I love you. Bye.